actually show love. We actually love thy neighbor here. We actually do it for real. Y'all talk about it. We bout it about it. You know what I mean? Y'all talk about it. We bout about it. But we got some guests in the house. I'm going to set these mics up, y'all. Let me put some, some instrumental music, you know. Let me put some theme music in the background. And then we're going to get this set up for them, the camera. And so uh, just chill with me. So I know y'all y'all driving. I know y'all car stars. You know, I'm a car star too. You know, when I'm in my star, when I'm in my car, I'm a star. You know, I'm, I'm rapping, I'm singing, man, I'm a star. Like Michael Jackson, Prince, you can't mess with me. But when I step outside my car, I'm just me again. I'm just me. All right. So I know y'all driving around. Go ahead and get your car star wrong. Get your car star wrong for me. Boss with me. All right, all right. I got everything set up, y'all. We got a guest in the house, and they come from all around the country. And like I said, they come from all around the country. You know, this is how we do it here. All right, turn that down just a little bit. So I want to uh, get right into a dialogue because I know they, they, they got to get that rest on because they got training camp tomorrow. No, actually tryouts. These gentlemen came all the way to Omaha, Nebraska, to showcase their, their God-given talents in front of pro coaches from around the world. 
my man Stefan Bradford is organizing this former uh, UNL player, you know, uh, he's coming back former, you know, played pro ball for 20 some years. He's still like a young man. I can't believe he's played pro ball for 20 some years. Uh, still like a young man. Um, and so he's coming back to create opportunities for his neighbors. Oh yeah, man. That's, that is the greatest mood, man. That, that that's the best crossover. Man, that, you can't even handle that. When you do a love thy neighbor move, when you create opportunities for your brothers, man, you cannot. Deion Sanders, what you got? You can't do nothing, Michael. You can't. And there's no move on earth like that. I love thy neighbor move. And my man, brother Bradford is doing it. He got a pro showcase tomorrow. I got goosebumps. God's in the house. God's in the house. <laughs> I got goosebumps. So he's bringing a showcase to give you an opportunity. These brothers flew in around the country, so they see the opportunity. If they can fly in miles, oh, yeah, they flew in miles to get here. You know what I mean? For an opportunity to take their God-given talents to another level. Omaha, you still have the opportunity. If you are a male, 18 to 35, no jive, 18, 13, 32, 18 to 32, that's you. So I actually ran with 32. <laughs> If you're 18 to 32, that's you, then you need to show up at Brown L Tabit tomorrow. Uh, I think it's showcase starts at 11. Yeah. You want to get there at 10 so you can stretch. I know some of y'all are older. Uh, you want to get there at 10 and watch. watch? Okay. All right. You want If you want to watch, you can You can showcase. Okay. You want to watch? I want to watch too. I might, I might throw in. I might, you know, I, I might bring my fake ID. You, you. you know? You hey, man, hey. Hey. Is it too late tomorrow? Elite. Oh, it's not too late. If you are elite, if you're the man, man, if you come with, with, with some with some stats, everybody, uh, uh, you, you might want to look at him. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know how it is on, on the hood. You know how it is in, on the court, man. You, man, you, you might want to pick him up, man. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, if you want to show up tomorrow, show up at Brownell Tabit. Um, it is a hundred dollar donation. It's a hundred dollar donation for your future, a self investment, man. If you don't love yourself, then who gonna love you? There's no one that can love you more than yourself. Even your mama, your daddy, they love you, but you you gonna be by yourself sometimes. So you gotta take care of yourself. So you gotta love thyself. So a hundred dollar investment. I don't want to hear y'all. Y'all y'all know what y'all doing on the weekends. Y'all getting no spirits. <laughs> Getting those spirits and all that. Leave the spirits alone. Put it towards yourself. Put it towards yourself. Put it towards your dream. So mama, daddy, and you, if you know your son was a baller and he playing ball on the video games now, but you know he got athletic ball skills for real, get him off that video game. Get him out the house and make sure he shows up tomorrow at Brownell Tabit at 11 o'clock. It's going to be going down. We got, I don't know how many coaches we're going to be. Actually, we're going to talk to a couple of players. We'll talk to a couple of players. And you know how these stars are, Omaha. You know how these stars are. They got their own nouns, verbs, adjectives, prepositional phrases, all yes and predicates <laughs> to introduce themselves. We're going to get right in the introduction, and we're going to just talk about who they are, where they come from, and why are they invading Omaha. And so uh, first one, uh, we're going to go with, uh, let's go with beauty before age. And so he, he looks more handsome than him, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Dude. What, what do you think, brother? I don't know. <laughs> um, all right. All right. Hey, bro, make sure you talk to that mic real quick. And then just, just use, your, use your diaphragm. There we go. I want to make sure that everybody see who you are and know who you are. Now, uh, let people know who you are. My name is Sean Fox Brennan. I'm from Overlocka, Florida. Okay. And um, I'm, I'm here, baby. I'm here in Nebraska. Huskies. All right. Is it Oklahoma? Now, now where's, give us some, some geographics. Where is that at? Is that by South Beach? Is that by Miami? Is that on the other side by Tampa? Yeah. Um, it's, it's a little bit by uh, about 30 minutes from South Beach, but mainly in Miami. So a little okay, bit you're in Miami. Yeah. It's the hall. Okay, okay. Oh, man, I love Miami, man. Brown County, Miami. Yeah, I like Miami, man. I was kicking it down there. But I doubt. I love Miami. Shout out to Miami. Uh, y'all run fast, but we beat y'all, though. We got the, we beat y'all. Yeah, we beat y'all. Yeah, y'all beat us a couple of times, though. 
great rivalry. Now, um, you come all the way up from Florida to uh, participate in this showcase. Now, uh, how, how old are you? I'm 24. 24? So, so you're still searching your dreams. So how you tall, what, about 6'4"? 6'6". 6'6"? Okay. Are you, you got a little, okay. I should duck on uh, 6'8". <laughs> Come on, man. You ain't tall enough, man. He ain't tall enough, Raph. He ain't tall enough. Okay, uh, but uh, you come from Florida. Man, it's, it's nice in Florida. Thank you for bringing the warm weather. Because it was two weeks ago, it was 24 below, for real. Cold in a month. It's cold. It's cold. For real. And so thank you for bringing the sunshine. We appreciate it, brother. Uh, welcome to the city. It's your first time in Nebraska? Uh, no, it's not, actually. Okay. Okay, good, good. Well, well, welcome back, young man. Welcome back. Uh, to your right, man, he, he got one of my, my favorite team. I'm a Viking. You know, I'm a back to Chuck Foreman Bay. He, so he, he's still a younger. Uh, I'm, I'm from Chuck Foreman days, Fran Target, and Omar Richard days. You know what I mean? Purple people eaters. But that, that's channel, Omar Richard. Had a channel on Inner Randy Moss today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, <laughs> yeah. Inner Randy yeah, Moss was, was the man, too. Yeah. So, uh, young man, who, who are you? Uh, my name is Nick Bellingsley. Uh, I am from Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. Uh, I'm 26. Um, you know, I got to represent my hometown. Okay. Now, uh, where are you from? I mean, uh, what high school? Excuse me. Uh, I went to Omaha North for three years, and then I transferred to Central my last year. Okay. So, All right. We won state my senior year, so that was pretty pretty cool. We did that my senior year. Okay. Hold on a second, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. My phone. Oh, yeah. I'll stay right there. Oh, you just relax. I know you're a superstar. <laughs> superstar. I'm just kind of nervous. You know, get in front of your mic. Okay. Now. Um, so you, you're a state champion? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now, uh, who's on your squad? You play with uh, who? Uh, I play with a Koei Gal, Tradeon Hollins. Uh, okay, K oh, yeah. Okay, that, that squad. Guy. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, I watched y'all. Yeah. I watched y'all. Yeah, I seen you play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, supers. Yeah, <laughs> y'all supers. Y'all yeah, was supers for real. Y'all yeah, yeah, supers was, for real. Nice. All right, without a doubt. And then uh, you got a, uh, a man to your, to, your, to your left. Let him slide on up. And uh, oh, what's your name, young man? Uh, my name is Kanal Robinson. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Yeah. So welcome, man. Man, the last time I was in Houston, I was listening to the radio station, and it said it's going to be cool today. I said it's going to be cool today because it was hot, <laughs> hot, 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 right? <laughs> hot every day, every day, day, night. It wouldn't get cool, but they said we're going to get cool today. It said we'll get to 86. I said, come yeah. on, man. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool for us. <laughs> That's hot. Come on, man. It, 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 would, it would not get cool. It would not get cool down there, man. Everything is hot when it, it stays hot. But it's flat. I love Houston. Oh, uh, when y'all go to clubs, y'all don't wear nothing. They don't wear nothing hot. down there. I mean, I, I like. I, I see it. Yeah, but I don't like to go out. Yeah, I, I, like I, 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 I gotta go to Houston. I'm coming down. Shout out to my Houston now. Now, uh, uh, how young? How old are you, young man? I'm uh 23. 23. Yeah. Billy Singh, how old are you? I'm 26. Okay, so you so you the you you the mature one. So so you the baby one right here. I'm the I'm the youngest. But okay, so yeah. how do you guys uh, hook up with with brother uh, Stanford? Uh, uh, Stefan. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, I saw what he was presenting. Like he was posting it out on social media, and I did my research upon, and I had conversations with him about basketball and opportunities that he's trying to provide for us, and. You know, I liked what I had, what we talked about the conversation. He know what I'm trying to do and where I'm trying to go, and he knows the route that it, some of us have to take and how hard it is. Right. And so he, what he's doing, is present something a big opportunity to help others like ourselves. You know, to bring coaches here and give us the opportunity and present it in front of us that some of us might not be able to get on any given day. Right now. Now, uh, did you play college ball? Yeah, I played. I just finished college at University of St. Thomas. Uh, so, University where? St. Thomas. St. Thomas? Yeah. So like on the island? No, it's it's in Houston. It's okay, like okay. in between Ooh, Rice and U of H. Okay, all right, cool, cool. All right, and then, uh, uh, young man. Well, okay. And then, okay. Now, what, what, what country? I mean, uh, not country. Fort Valley, Georgia. Okay, Georgia. About 30 minutes outside of Macon. Okay, all right, I heard of Macon. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. So, uh, where do you play ball at, brother? Uh, I played at the University of Texas at San Antonio. So All right. I was in San, San, San Antonio, Texas for about two years because I went to junior college for a couple of years and I transferred over there. So, okay. Uh, and I know Steph. Me and Steph, I've known Steph for a few years playing mm -hmm. in the Salvation Army League, stuff like that. And he kind of took a liking to me, how my professionalism and I just approached the game, you know, like a pro. Even though I haven't really – I haven't played pro ball. I just kind of, you know, had that mindset of I'm trained like a pro, you, you win like a pro, stuff like that. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Well, uh, young man, especially um, – 
uh, from Miami and Houston. Welcome uh, to the city, uh, without a doubt. Um, I know there's this out there. Y'all can't do anything tonight. Yeah, keep your legs strong for tomorrow. Yeah. Young curvy. Trouble, yeah, yeah. I, 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 you know, I mean, the, the, you know, the, let me see if I got any comments for the women. Let me see what the women saying. This is the women saying. This is the women saying right now. I'm finna go with some women there, fellas. So. No, I'm scared, y'all. I'm gonna get myself in trouble. Oh, yes. Let me see what the women say. Oh, they said, go. Let's go, brother. All right. Let's go, Kennard. Okay. All right. They already know your name already. Texas in the house. All right. What's going on? What's going on, Mademoiselle? All right, so hey, there we go. They 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 popping already. They popping. Uh, curfew tonight, bro. <laughs> Stanford, keep man, keep them, man, keep them on lock tonight. Uh, hey, but but, ladies, y'all can come out tomorrow at eleven o'clock if you want to see some 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 good basketball tomorrow because first 40. the first forty. First forty, you're gonna do a rotation. First forty, you can come watch the game. Okay. Okay. So so they're gonna have forty people who can't watch the game. What's time? What time is the first game? So the first. Actually, they're gonna be playing games. So this is not no show. This is you're playing. You're balling. Okay. Well, it's, okay. So the, the first game is at eleven. And what's the second? What time is the second game? Okay. So the crowd can come when? Twelve o'clock. I mean, I mean for the first game. First game at 11. Okay, and the door's going to open up what time? The door's going to be open at 9. Okay. The okay, all right. All right, cool. First 40. First 40, you're able to watch the first game. If they don't watch that 40, watch the first game, you're going to put a new wave in. Okay. So the first 40, the door's open up at 9, um, and then after the first game, they're going to allow another 40 to come in. $3 a day. $3 donation. They have snacks there for you, concession. Again, if, if you're a baller, it's a hundred dollar donation uh to participate. Uh how many coaches are there? Seven. Why don't you grab that mic real quick? Right back. There you go. So you got you got seven coach, seven pro coaches, right? Yep. Seven. Uh and they represent they in Europe or where they where they uh, where they Europe, from? Um South America, yeah. Okay, Europe and South America. Yeah. Okay, yeah, heck yeah. I had one of my homeboys I played college ball where he played over somewhere over overseas, one of the small countries. So there's opportunities. He's played several, several years over there, mm -hmm. uh, as well as South America. Bird, I know he played down in South America. Um, yep. 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 Bird played down in South America. I think he played in Mexico and, and all that stuff. Yep. So uh, there's opportunities, especially. Uh, uh, until you, you know, make it to that level of uh, G League into the uh, to the NBA. Oh, he got that connection to the G League too. Okay. With the Seventy Sixers. So okay. I get to choose three players, and they are automatically gonna um, put a seat at the table for him. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, uh, opportunities, opportunities. Want uh, to want to people know uh, who you are again, brother? How how they can get in contact with you? Uh, my name is Stephon Bradford, and um, you can get in contact with me with Lifeline Elite Sports dot com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Lifeline Elite Sports. I do want to say congratulations. Um, I heard you got the new head coach at uh, Brown Air Tablet. Brown Air Tablet. Uh, appreciate that, brother. Appreciate yeah, without a doubt. Without a yeah. doubt. So uh, make sure you keep your tongue. Watch your tongue. Watch your tongue. You, oh, don't, want, you don't want to be like my brother down Creighton. Nah, nah, I know we don't plantation. <laughs> I know we don't plantation. Oh, but, man, that's crazy. Right? Uh, but, uh, uh, but, uh, my, but but congratulations! I, I don't want to take I want to take you away from you from your your line life. It's because to uh, be able to have opportunity, especially in a private school, that means that they have uh, confidence in you. Also, uh, you train young players. Is that correct? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I train young players. Again, well, where where can they uh, uh, get your skill set? Where where can they learn that Euro step? Like I said, visit me at Lifeline Elite Sports dot com or Lifeline Elite Sports at Facebook and. Shoot me a message. Tell me what you're looking for, and I got you. Man, I'm telling you, if if I if I knew that Euro step, when I was all oh, man, I would have, I, I would have, oh, and we beating that shit up. Oh <laughs> no, I would, man, I was, I was, oh, <laughs> oh, no, I, I would get that tools for you, baby. I would get that tools for you. So now you beat nothing up, and I'm coming back. So uh, anything else? You any shots out? Cause I know y'all gotta, I know y'all gotta do y'all thing today. Yeah, yeah, let me shout out my trainer, man, Mike Mitchell. Let me shout out my agent for putting me in this position. 
position, Mason Nash. You know, shout out everybody back at home. Shout out my um, where I'm from, Haiti. Shout out to Haiti, man. And, and that's pretty much it, man. I'm just, I'm just excited, man, to be here. And this is a great opportunity for anybody that's in my position. So I would just advise anybody and everybody to just take advantage of any opportunity because you don't know when it's gonna come back around. What I doubt. What I doubt. But uh, Billington. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my my father for believing in me, uh, my boy Zach, working out every day with me, and you know just you know all the people that believed in me, my close family, friends, stuff like that. So you know, this is this is a real deal. Steph, Steph puts his name on something. It's the real deal. So you know, mm -hmm. I appreciate yeah. him for that. Right. So you slide the mic down to him. Um, I want to shout out uh, my fiance. Uh, she's here with me down here for the combine uh, showcase, and thank her for pushing me and always supporting me and motivating me. I want to thank uh, Stefan for presenting the opportunity and helping me, you know, come and bringing this to my the forefront for me to be here. And then I want to also thank my trainers back home, my Pop Four, the TJ Four organization, and my head coach, uh, my head coach Anthony Medina, and my twin brother and my family back home watching right now. Cool, cool. Well, man, again, we, we welcome y'all. Um, um, for anyone out there that's young, I used to do college basketball recruiting cramps, and so I used to get kids, young, young men and uh, women in, in college, and, and I've seen the benefits from those that that maybe slipped through the cracks, so uh, or might got cut and blossom later, and so 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 you have different different people or well, different players that develop at different times based off different experiences, and so. If you were one of those individuals that might have slipped through the cracks, we don't care if you got a GED or a PhD. <laughs> we just need you guys to show up. If you have that ability, show up. Give my brother Bradford a call. Give him a call now. It's better to call him now because versus later because when they get to, in the game, he's going to be in his mindset of working. And so it's going to be kind of harder to shuffle in new players. If you're going to be a new player, you got to get there at nine. Get there early. Get there early. The early bird catch the worm, for real, it literally. So if uh, if you're just hearing about the showcase now, and you work it on that third second shift, and you grind in, but you're hearing the message, because I know a lot of people listen to us on the app. Make sure you show up tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. If you want to be a, a part of first forty to watch this game, I'm gonna be there, um, talking smack. <laughs> you know what I mean? I should be on the court. You I know that it. kind of stuff. I love it. You know what I mean? And so, uh, if you want to be part of, 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 of the audience, make sure you're there at nine o'clock. Games start at eleven. Two games tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if it will be more than that. Just two games tomorrow. Each, each team is going to play two games. Okay. So, so, uh, okay. So it'll be games throughout the day. Uh, four games. Okay. Four games tomorrow. Uh, we'll update you also. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do some, some some kind of report, you know, some instant reporting through Facebook on, on, on social media. So so stay tuned tomorrow. Again, Brother uh, Bradford, again, congratulations on being the head coach of Brownell Tablet. Uh, I'm, now you got to be recruited. You got to be recruited. At private school, you got to recruit at eighth graders, seventh graders, sixth graders. All right, all right, all right, cool, cool. What I doubt. But also, thank you for, for giving opportunities to, to your brothers and uh, of all hues. And so no matter who where you are, in the burbs, the bluffs, or you're a Metro Omaha. If you got that skill set and you've been at home playing video games, you six, eight, six, nine, seven footer, and you were out west playing from used to play for Miller North, get up here. The Brownell Tabit, 72nd. And was it what about 50th the underwear, right? I think about, about 50th the underwear. Uh, Sleeping hollow? Yep, hollow? Okay. Right there. Happy you can happy hollow. Yeah, happy hollow. Yeah. yeah, happy hollow goes that way. But cannot miss it. Cannot miss it, y'all. So show up and show out in the morning. Any parting words? Anything else, brother uh, Bradford, before we get out of here? Man, hey, show support, show love, because it's definitely going down. It's definitely going down. Okay. I can assure you that. All right, y'all. We got elite talent in the building, and they really going to show y'all exactly why they're elite. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be there in the morning. Omaha, again, shouts out to uh, Helen Turner. Uh, they laid my... Uh, uh, one of the matriarchs of the the Greater New Hope Baptist Church family home today. Uh, it was a great celebration of love. Shouts out to the family. Boss with us, y'all. All right. And we out. We take some pictures and we get out of here. Now. Yep. yep. Get up on your feet. Get up, get up. It's a simple groove. It's a simple groove. Yeah.
it ain't too fast, it ain't too fast, and it ain't too slow. It ain't complicated, no. so let's hit the flow. Let's hit the flow. If you feel the hurting, pull off your shoes. Come on, come on. No hesitating. Let's bust the move. Two steps to the right, two steps to the left. It don't matter if you're old. It's the grown folks step. Two steps to the left, two steps to the right. Bring it up real slow. Throw your hands in the air. Yeah. 